In many water districts, these restrictions will be enforced through fines and penalties, but some opponents of the water fine say Newsom is targeting the wrong issue. Joining us to discuss is Reform California Chairman Carl DeMaio. Carl, good morning. Great to see you. Good morning. And let me just say everything that Don Billings just said is absolutely true. Uh, and it's even worse than what he covered uh, as to why these water restrictions are absolutely unnecessary. Can you elaborate on that, please? Sure. So let's first start with the water restrictions. Todd Gloria, with his cheesy little uh, smile, j jumps in front of TV cameras saying that we're in a drought and San Diegans are, the, uh, are at fault. They're using too much water. And what he's doing is he's parroting uh, uh, the uh, false message of Gavin Newsom and other politicians across the state and the liberal media that refuse to tell the truth. Uh, he says that we uh, have the following restrictions. You can't water uh, except for every other day. You can't water uh, 48 hours after a rainstorm. You can't wash your car anymore in your front yard. You've got to take it into one of those uh, auto shops uh, you know, with the, the automatic car wash that doesn't really work in most cases. Um, these are the sort of restrictions and then some that he's imposing. And he says that if you don't follow these restrictions that penalties can be levied against you. The reality though is we have a surplus of water in San Diego County. And the reality is statewide, Californians actually are the most water efficient that they've ever been in the history of actually keeping score. So I absolutely agree with Don Billings. He seem to be more trying to send a message of, oh, you know, we have to do something about water. Well, don't, don't uh, threaten penalties and fines on, on ratepayers and homeowners who've actually done their job over the years and reduced their water consumption. Well, then the question comes down to, okay, enforcement. How are you going to enforce this? Do they, are they going to have a, a water police department now when they go around town? And I don't know. Do you? Oh, I, I absolutely do know because we actually went through this in 2015. 2015 was our last drought. And, and here's just a little, uh, you know, big bombshell, spoiler alert. California has had droughts for the last oh, I don't know, million, two million years. We have a cycle of feast famine when it comes to water, very wet years and then very dry years. It's predictable and our, our water infrastructure and our water policy ought to take that into account. Uh, but in 2015, the last time we had a drought along with these bizarre uh, needless restrictions, uh, the city of San Diego urged residents to rat out their neighbors. They actually set up an app and a phone number that people could call to basically turn in their neighbors if they if they were watering their grass on the wrong day, or if they were washing their car with the kids on a Saturday afternoon, that you can call in and have an inspector uh, show up and issue a penalty. How's that for uh, you know being uh, 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 vicious and, and and turning people against each other? We saw the same crap with COVID nineteen. Turn in businesses that don't follow the rules that the government has imposed. I, I want to uh, you know talk about statewide. In 1990, the average Californian was was consuming 230 gallons uh, a day of water. By by 2010, that reduced to 180. Uh, do you want to know what it is for San Diego County each day? 48 gallons. 48 gallons down from 230 gallons per day in 1990. Why? Mm -hmm. Because we're far more water efficient. We've invested. We've modernized. Uh, and also, as the politicians attack the citizens for being the, the, the problem with water, Human consumption is only 5% of water. Your businesses, your homes, your, all of your facilities, all your cities, 5% of water. 40% of water is food, and our agriculture is far more water efficient than it was in 1990, down uh, about 20% water consumption, but up 30% in production. Now, you know what the problem is? 55% of our water is being flushed out into the ocean, not being captured, not being used, because politicians have decided to give in to the radical environmentalists who believe that we shouldn't be having any water for human beings, that we should be giving it all to Mother Nature. Well, we disagree. We have to live. And that's the problem with our water policy, Jason. And with the exception of reservoirs and things like that, we, we talk about the runoff, as you just mentioned. As far as a matter of practical application, what would be the method to capture that water that would otherwise run into the ocean? Well, first thing is we do have to enhance our reservoirs. Here in San Diego County, we enhanced our reservoirs 
uh, a number of times, and ratepayers had to pay for that. Uh, you know, increase in the the the, the height of our all of our dams and reservoirs, uh, and as a result, we're storing water each year. In fact, this year we're storing water as well. We actually have a surplus, and so statewide we need reservoir augmentation, enhancing the capacity. We also need to align our canals so we don't lose water as we're transporting it across the state. And finally, we do need to uh, do more pumping. And we used to do pumping in the 80s and the 70s, even into the 90s, and that gave us a surplus of water statewide. But the politicians have ordered that no pumping be allowed in most of these areas and most of these rivers. So we need more re re infrastructure, no doubt. But we actually could fix a lot of the problem with a policy change overnight if Gavin Newsom, Todd Gloria, and these other liberal politicians would actually do their damn job, stop blaming Californians. They've done a, a commendable job with conservation. Uh, no, put put the residents' interests before your your you know far left wing environmental uh, activists. Yeah, and as you started the interview out, Don Billings is right. <laughs> he, he's yeah, right about he's this. Right. Yeah, he's right. We have a water surplus and we're paying extra for that water. And yet now we're being punished. All right. Carl DeMaio, chairman of Reform California. Carl, thanks for your perspective. Always appreciate it. Thanks so much.